And here's a very classic example of um, how to apply Newton's laws of motion. Here we have a table, a mass on top of the table, with a string across a pulley and a mass hanging down from that string. And of course, uh, in this case, we have no friction. If there's no friction, you would expect all systems to kind of accelerate in this direction. All right, so we assume that to be the positive direction. Notice that this mass, M1, will be moving in a vertical direction. M2 will be moving in a horizontal direction. But since they're attached to one another with a string across a pulley, we consider that a continuous same direction kind of problem. And so we can see that acceleration will be in that direction. OK, now the best way to look at it is to say, I know my equation, F equals MA. And of course, we want to say that the net force acting on the system is equal to the total mass of the system times the acceleration. So we're only going to look at the forces that apply to the system, not the forces within the system. For one thing, we have M1 here. So we have the force of gravity pulling down on it. So that's M1g. Then we have the force of gravity pulling down on M2. So this is M2g. And of course, then we have the normal force. Newton's third law dictates that there's a reactionary force pushing back up. That's the normal force. And the normal force will be equal in magnitude to M2g and opposite in direction. So those two forces cancel each other out. And so that means there's only one force, one net force, acting on the whole system, which is M1g. So this here can be considered the net force, F net. Okay, since that's the case, we then plug it into our equation. We can say that M1g is equal to the total mass of the system, which is the sum of M1 plus M2 times the acceleration of the system, or A is equal to M1g divided by M1 plus M2. All right, plug in the numbers. So M1 is 5 kilograms, G, 9.8 meters per second squared. M1 is 5 kilograms, M2 is 10 kilograms. Now, I'd left out the units. Why do I do that? It makes it a lot cleaner. If you don't like that, what you could do is you say, okay, plug in the, the units. So you have 5 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared divided by 5 kilograms plus 10 kilograms. All right? And then, of course, you can see that kilograms will cancel out with kilograms, and then you'll be left with meters per second squared. Now we need a calculator. Ah, here it is. So we have 49 divided by 15. And that is 3.27. And so this system will accelerate at 3.27 meters per second squared. Notice that this mass will accelerate downward at 3.27 meters per second squared, and mass 2 will accelerate across the table at 3.27 meters per second squared. And that's how you do a problem like that using Newton's laws.